Right. This is one of these times when I just show you something and vow to come back another time because I've got things to do, but I've just um, spotted something I've never seen before. Uh, a little bit of country behind me, but watch this. There seems to be some sort of a trail. Um, Yeah, and uh, I can't remember the name of the, oh, I can't even remember the name of the place. Um, there's some sort of, something or other woods. I think it began with a P. <laughs> um, it looks really good in there, but I, I'm gonna have to come back another time and probably put the car somewhere a little bit better than this as well. It's, it's kind of abandoned on a little country lane, but it looks so good. It just. My mum was telling me the other day she's been on some walks and the bluebells have been amazing. And I saw a few kicking around and thought, yeah, they're looking good, but this is really quite amazing. There was even a sign up there which said, bluebells are out, keep your distance. Country lovers will probably know what that means, but it's the first time I've ever seen that. I think it went on to sort of say some stuff about paws and feet do damage to them when they're coming out or something. But I remember this as a kid, Bluebell Woods up in Old Reading, and, and, and it really was like this, and I forgot. Bluebells that I've seen since are just little random little clumps of them here and there, but to be in a forest um, where they are just uh, like a sea of them everywhere, I haven't seen that since I was a young lad. Um, and also on this sign back up the road there, it said a um, hundred, oh, sorry, a thousand years of history. I'm just wondering if I'll have a quick little look to see if the name of the woods was on a sign nearby. I think it was, in case I'll just do that. I'm really going to have to get a dog. I'm starting to get really fed up with just walking around and just get the feeling that people are like, who the hell is that guy, you know? And I just, it just... Yeah, I just don't like it. Oh, there we go. Phillips Hill Wood. Yeah, look. Bluebells emerging. Please keep your distance. blah de blah de blah, blah, blah Feet and paws damage them. Put your dog on a lead, etc. But anyway, here we go. Phillips Hill Wood. A thousand years of history at your feet. And then goes on to say a whole bunch of other stuff. As you can see. Don't need me to tell you that. Uh, let's do a quick, sorry for the interruption here, one second. Um, oh, I can probably walk in this way. Uh, I'm going back to my car because I've got stuff to do and I, I don't even think I've locked it. I left the window open and everything. But this is, how am I even properly put the car away and come in here now today, I don't know. But this is really something, um, in fact really, I think what I'll do actually, I don't know how much, I mean look at this, I don't know how, how much of this there is, but I think I'll come back here with my mum, because I think she would love this. I mean, this is something else. I hope this is a decent size. You know, it could be just five minutes and you're, you're through it. I should have probably looked, that map looked pretty extensive. Um, it just feels amazing. It really does feel amazing standing in here. Oh, what kind of an idiot dumps their car with its windows open and... <laughs> oh dear, anyway. Um, this is amazing. This is a proper walk. I am gonna come back and I think it would be a bit rude of me to, unless I was gonna do this now, I think it would be a bit rude of me to just turn up like tomorrow or something 
uh, and not be with my mum. I'm going to have to bring her up here. I think she's probably busy tomorrow. But, um, see, the thing is, what can happen with me is I can pull in a whole bunch of work and next thing you know, I'm sitting at a desk intensely, like, programming for ages, which is great. This is really nice, but it's just... You sort of think, well, whilst I've got a chance, just get out and do something, you know? Um, but I have to say, I'm just hopping up and down, aren't I? Because I'm not, I really want to go down there. I'm being drawn in. Um, but I think over the next whatever period of time it's going to be, I think I'm just going to keep going on and on and on about a dog. And I even think two, I just, I'm actually seeing two gun dogs, two, um, when I say seeing, I mean like in my mind, it was just, just really on my mind so much, two tobacco coloured, you know, sort of mid light brown, um, spaniels a bit like the pups that i missed out on when i was getting rid of my last car um they would love this and i think it's a bit of a leap of faith i mean there's the cost of them as well but um it's really on my mind a lot so who knows who knows, lots of good, sensible reasons why it's an absolutely ridiculous idea <laughs> to even be thinking about it. Um, but, um, and obviously there are, there are logistics involved, but sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith, haven't you? Anyway, um, I'm walking back to the car. I think what I'll probably do, because I'm not sure how good the signal is here. It looks like it's probably fine. So I'll walk back to the car, close the window, lock the doors properly, and take a short little video rather than a live so the quality is a bit better. And, um, and come back uh, later. Let me just ask this gentleman. Excuse me, are you familiar with... with with this I've, I've just stumbled across this by accident and I'm gonna to have to come back at a later point but is it a good if I was to come here like with my mum could we spend like an hour or so or is it or does it end very soon is it how big is it in terms of this uh, area yeah it's uh, probably three or four hundred meters oh so so all oh, right so in terms of walking around you look 25 minutes then or I, would something. Go, I would guess so right okay it's, it's beautiful isn't it yeah it's amazing it's yeah. really amazing yeah it's 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 quite um it's quite popular locally so over the weekend you'll probably see quite a lot of people yeah and i'll come during the week then i haven't i remember up old reading as a kid up on you know you know old reading yeah, it, I haven't seen them like this since then. Know, it, it's, it's quite exceptional. Yeah, it's really lovely. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. All right, you too. Thanks. Bye. Uh, there you go. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's it's not huge. It's twenty five minutes. Uh, the gentleman said there probably. I think he said two or three hundred meters. Oh my! Oh, I'm caught in two minds now. Um, kind of do want to walk around again um, anyway rather than staying on this live whilst I hover in my indecision I think I think I'll just wrap this up and um, I mean I could probably park the car here but it just feels nice it's like acoustically yeah I can hear can it actually hear the famous old M25 probably it is in the background. But as soon as you go in there, it just, although you can still hear it, there's, there's a, a dampening. But, you know, it can say things like an energy and stuff. And, and it will be true anyway, because all the electromagnetic stuff is dealt with by the trees and stuff like that. 
I'm always one for the shade and loads of oxygen anyway. I'm not one for, you know, brilliant sunshine and a hot sandy beach. That's not really my thing. Um, so, but it just, it just, it's, it's like being sucked in. It just draws you in. Uh, anyway, um, whatever it was called, I did get it on the live Pip, Pippin Hill or something. Um, and the thing is about this area, I think you've got um, um, Little Charlefront and stuff like that just out, just up the road. And there's just so much open countryside here. You, um, as you go out from Northwood, Rickmansworth out to Chorley Wood, and then bang, you're you're in, you're into, you get into Buckinghamshire really, and and you've got stuff like this, probably a lot, a lot more of it than this as well. But this is just still so close, a mile or so from the Metline station. Anyway, so for now, I think there was something else I was going to say. I can't remember what it is, but um, I think what I'm going to do is end off this live. Um, close the cart for a sec, get some photos, a um, little bit of video maybe. Knowing me, I'll probably end up walking around it anyway, but I'm going to come back. Um, looks like there is a reasonable signal here anyway. Uh, so I'll come back perhaps with my mum or something and show her. But this is, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. It, I, I'm looking at it on the screen as I'm filming this and it doesn't seem to sort of do it justice. But hopefully, um, hopefully it does. So anyway, um, that's about it, really. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going on and on for no real reason. But there you go. Thanks for watching. And of course, you did watch. And of course, if you didn't watch, you wouldn't know that I said you did watch. So can't be wrong about that really can I <laughs> uh, enjoy the rest of your day take care see you soon bye right so Pippin Hill Woods or something <laughs> oh dear um, I can't remember what it's called I need to look properly but uh, this is um Sea of bluebells. Um, really lovely. There's a bit that I want to look at in particular. Um, it's very impromptu. I, I didn't. I didn't know that this was here found it a little bit by accident just because I was coming out of Chorleywood and decided to take a slightly different road out to see where it went and what it didn't do is tell me that it was a dead end if, it, if I'd seen that I probably wouldn't have driven down it anyway once I started rolling along it's a dead end I was like great thanks for that <laughs> um, but what happened is that I, as I came along I saw this place not as many bluebells down here but trust me they get uh it's like a carpet of them as you go back it's really amazing around here i'm gonna i'm gonna have another yomp around here at some point i really like it um but, uh <laughs> just random things i don't know how well it's coming over on this video but the reason why I, I was doing a Facebook live and the reason why I did the video is because basically public bride away just wonderful uh, um, annoying basically when you take a photo of something it stops the video uh, Hey. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, just uh, if the signal goes, then when you're on a Facebook Live, then the quality of the call 
uh, of the video drops. Um, and that's why I'm doing it like this. <laughs> I have no idea how this looks. <laughs> I, um, but um, so yeah, I thought I would do it by video instead to make sure that the, you know, hopefully get 4K um, coverage and then I'll just upload it. The more I watch these things back, when I'm walking, of course, you know, you, the camera or the phone is bouncing and you can, in fact, I have a friend, Nipson, who I don't know if he still does, but he used to make these homemade sort of steady cam. That was quite amazing. I saw a few of them there, very ingenious. He would come up with a plan and an idea and then he would trawl the web to find things that would match in his design ideas and buy them and fit them all together and have this homemade uh, device that clip the phone, uh, clip your camera to, or your phone or whatever. And as you walk around, it, it steadies it from bouncing and stuff. And uh, I think he used to make them for people as well to order and stuff. So, uh, this honestly, this place is just, I just love it. It's, I'm gonna to have to start taking note of where you can and can't ride because the thing is with places like this, if they're quite large, I really wanna cover a lot of ground, you know? And, you know, it's not like I wanna go tearing along on my bike, maybe some of the time, but, um, but I do wanna, I do wanna cover more ground than on foot because it's just, I'm, I'm just like looking, thinking there's so much I wanna see. Uh, Kids camp or something. Just brilliant. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Um, and I think, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> just amazing. Love it. Absolutely love it. She's not sure how much. comes through but um, I'm trying to keep it just to this bluebell bit but it's uh, it's like every good walk it kind of gathers momentum as you're doing it where you just think oh what's down there what's here and there's mixed feelings when you see different routes because on the one hand you think that's, a, that's great it means that you know there's plenty to see but then you sort of think, well, I want to do all of it at once. I want to go down there and I want to go up there and I want to go over there. I think I'm part dog, to be honest with you. I think <laughs> I'd get down on all fours and just run around in all directions at once. It'd probably... <laughs> There's probably... Uh... Yeah, probably something in that. But anyway... Um... We got carried away with coming down here. A, I don't know if this is the bit. I managed to get myself not lost, but a bit thrown off. Because um, there was one little path I thought, well, I'll, that seems to be the one that's going to do a loop, and that would be a better idea. Just, I'm trying to, I'm not really sure how to make sure that you can see what I'm seeing. It's just a carpet of bluebells. And, um, yeah. And although, even if you can see, you might look and think, yeah, it's a really nice carpet of bluebells, it's great. Well, it kind of, there's a feeling 
as well. Look. Sometimes when something's well shot, um, well, that's the whole point, isn't it, of being a decent cameraman or whatever. You're trying to capture what it feels like when you're there. I'm probably not doing that, but anyway. Um, I'm sort of in two minds about this. This is obviously a tribute. I feel like saying rest in peace to one or both. Um, anyway. So. Oh, this is my sort of two minute recce of the place. It's a country two minute. Um, but where down there where those telegraph poles went off, oh, I thought there was another path. Right, so that's. There was something that I wanted to do down there. But in turning around and turning around, I think I missed the little path that I wanted to go on. I think there's obviously my car. Looks like it. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna th I'm gonna come back because I wanted to go down that other little path which would, probably would have brought me up here. Um, this, what the gentleman explained to me is like 25 minutes to walk around. I think he's probably right if you want to do the sort of loop where all the bluebells are, but this, what's really great is it's also, there's more than that as well. So there's the patch where all the bluebells are, and then you can go off beyond there as well. So, um, yeah, there's more than just the 25 minutes. Who that? <laughs> I don't know, it's a wood pigeon or something. It's amazing how, and it's not going to change with the electric cars, um, how that, the sound of a major road, how far it carries when you're in the countryside. It just carries for miles. Um, but um, most of it is wind and it's wild service most of it is wind and um you know road noise rather than engine noise so like i say it's not really gonna be less when we're all uh, on uh, if it was just totally electric cars um The only time you really notice, I think, with an electric car, how quiet they are is when they're accelerating. Because you're expecting to hear the sound of an engine getting a car up to speed. But most of the time, even in a town, when a car comes past you, um, it's not until it accelerates that you can hear what it's got, whether it's electric, whether it's petrol, whether it's diesel. Most of what you hear is just the sound of the tires rolling down the road and if it's going a bit faster a little bit of the wind or something so anyway that was a quick little thing there's a sign again please don't go treading all over them um i really wish i'd gone off where i wanted to go off now um, 
but I need to eat something and I do need to do a little bit more work and then uh, yeah my car um so anyway I'm gonna leave it I think um might drive a bit further down I'm gonna see if I can get out that way anyway otherwise I'm gonna have to turn around at some point or reverse all the way back um but yeah there we go carpet of bluebells in the woods uh here in Chorley Wood and uh hopefully captured in 4k um don't know what kind of quality it'll get uploaded into the facebook app but uh anyway hope you enjoyed it's uh really very nice uh enjoyed bringing it to you all right cheers <laughs> bye